excuse me, Star of Bethlehem. And we've got mustard coming out here. Everything is there waiting for you. Everything is there waiting for you not to worry. This is... Yeah, I think right now um, it's really about love, humility, and respect. And this is for yourself. This is a period where the earth is healing. Everyone on the earth is healing. And, um, you know, you just need to start walking. You just need to start going down a path. And it's going to lead you to this tree of souls here. Okay? Collective wisdom. Kinship group more learning. So they're basically telling you that whatever path you choose at this point moving forward is the right one. Okay? It's the right one for you, Pisces. All right? Now, I'm going to move all this out of the way. We're going to do a love reading for you. Okay? I'm going to keep that Empress... I feel like if you, even if you don't feel like that right now, I feel like this goddess rising type energy for you. And I've got imagine and all that glitters and I'm going to pull out this loyal heart. Now I do feel that you folks are extremely loyal. All right. As water signs, you're empathic, you're sensitive. Um, you're always <laughs> loyal. Like, I'm, I'm hearing, like, loyal to a fault sometimes. You're loyal to everybody else and maybe not so much yourself, okay? Which is what's really important, is to be loyal to yourself, all right? So, let's find out. Let's find out what's going on with the love stuff. And this is for someone that's single. This is also a reading for folks that um, you might be in a relationship. This is also for folks that are struggling right now to stay single and kind of level off. This reading is going to give insights for all of that. Separated, reunifications. What's up for Pisces, please? What do they need to know? Okay, so I've got separation coming out in the reverse. For those of you that are separated, this had to do with healing family issues. And I do feel very possibly like somebody could reach out for you. Let's pull a quick card on that and find out. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting seven of cups here. It's very possible. This was a growth period in that separated relationship. Um, it's really possible that someone could be coming in with an offering. I don't feel like they're ready yet. Okay. Um, now we're reading for January here. Okay. All right. So if you're separated, that's what came out first. <clears throat> okay. If you're working to try and level up your divine masculine and divine feminine and you're trying to reunite them, the, this reading will also apply for you, okay? Notice how it talks about healing these family issues, all right? Your love life benefits from you forgiving your parents, okay? And it doesn't have to be parents necessarily. It could be past relationships, right? Past energy of past relationships. Remember we talked about in the general reading about you guys letting go, okay? Now, I've got the Seven of Cups. I have a Two of Staffs, which is what we had in the general reading. So in the background of you guys moving forward, it's very possible that you're thinking a lot about your love life. You're thinking a lot about the fact like, hey, I'm alone. You know, I want to do this with other people. I would love to have a companion. All right. Um, and you feel like you're kind of struggling here. Okay, notice he's almost at the edge there and he's looking out at this flow. So he feels like he's not in the flow. All right. And again, this is a love reading. So you might feel disconnected is what I'm getting. Um, we've got that nine of swords coming up again, which is which is what came out 
in the unexpected position in your general reading. Okay? Is that part, I feel like sometimes you feel like, yes, yes, I'm like ready to go. I'm all healed. I'm going, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. And then boom, something pops in and you're like, oh my gosh, here's another thing. All right? Know that you are pretty much healed. Okay? A lot of this can be residual. It's like residual energy where you just kind of have to say, okay, I'm going to take, you know, some extra time and I'm going to do a clearing on this. Or, you know, maybe you go take an Epsom salt bath and do some kind of a mindful, intentional letting go of something. But just so you know, there is the Ten of Cups. Okay? Now, what I've described here could be you or your person. Take it how it resonates here. Okay? I do feel like this person or you see each other as a wish fulfillment here. This is a process. I also feel like for some of you, there's going to be a choice between more than one person. Now let's ask about that. Okay, so that's kind of the separation scenario. I don't feel like folks are ready yet to come back together. Okay, but I feel like you will have that opportunity. Okay, you will have wish fulfillment at some point through this process. They wanted you to know that it really was about clearing some of this residual energy is really what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, I've got forgiving and learning coming out here. Okay. So if this resonates for you or you think your person is in the process of doing this, please take it for what it is. But we have a queen of wands coming out here. Queen of wands, right? She's all this action, you come from that nine of wands, you go into the queen and you start to harvest here. In fact, not only are you harvesting, but you're showing other people how to do it. The flowers are blooming. You're having big feasts, okay? This is what this wish fulfillment is going to bring in for you. And the energy of this is very, you know, the queen of wands, um, She's fiery, but it's cozy fiery, okay? It's about helping to nurture, helping things to grow. So if this represents you or you're resonating that this is your person, know that that's, that's what you want to look for. And a sense of playfulness here is also coming in. And notice that it's juxtaposed with forgiveness and learning here around this queen of wands, okay? Because there's a balance to life here. You can't always be working. You can't always be, you know, trying to heal. You can't always be so focused, right? There's got to be some playfulness. I'm going to ask real quick. So, you know, if you're starting a relationship... I tell my kids, you're literally building a universe and a planet. What do you want to pour into your planet? Picture the globe in front of you. What do you literally want to pour into that space? I've got let your friends help you. Okay, so maybe get out and socialize here. And for some of you, there could be children that are affecting the relationship. And that also might be why it needs to slow down. Why you need to take it. Um, with that Empress out there, be aware that it's going to be real easy for you to get pregnant with this person. Okay. I have this ephemeral and I have it coming up in the reverse. All right. So I feel like for some of you, you know, you want children. You need to find out if that other person wants children. I think it's like a wish fulfillment for you. So you need to definitely find out about that. You need to look at that person um, in a way that, you know, is this a person that you want raising your children? Okay. That needs to be considered. Um, I hear, I feel pregnancy really strong in this. And if that doesn't resonate with you, then 
this can also correlate to kind of how you're dealing with your inner children, right? You and your person. Because it's really important to feed them and take care of them or they balk and lash out and do crazy things, right? So however this applies, um, I also have shadow coming up in the reverse and then I have bloom. And this is letting me know that if you continue to stay in the present and do the work that you need to be doing, okay, that everything's going to work out. And, you know, when we come together, yeah, everything is going to be exposed. You're going to see everything that needs. And the reminder here is to look at it from the higher perspective. You know, when you come together with somebody, it's not about finding somebody that's going to be making you happy, right? It's about you being happy and that person being happy and coming together happy and building a happy planet or a happy universe or a happy world or a happy home, however that resonates, Okay, that self-regulation, that strength card that came out is important. Okay, because, you know, shit happens, right? And uh, there's a lot of stress in life. I've got that moon in reverse coming up again. So it's really about knowing how to manage the emotional stuff here. There you go. There's the bouquet. Okay, so the possibilities here for that wish fulfillment, the possibilities here for you know, creating a brand new universe. And you've got it on the empire here. It wasn't just a queen. That queen of wands came out. But your energy, notice, is the empress. So be very aware and value yourself at the level that you are. I'm going to put these two back in the pile and shuffle these. And let's get an oracle card out here for the relationship, please. I'm also going to just do, um, when I'm done with this, I'm going to pull a card for those of you that are single and separated. Let's see if we can get you a timeline. You know, we had that turtle come out with the idleness card, and I think it's, you know, the turtle's really not idle. They go at their pace, and they do what they need to do, and they do it right, and they do it well. Yeah, I've got retreat, rest, and be held here. A deep replenishment. And that is literally what a relationship is supposed to bring. Okay, it's supposed to bring sanctuary. All right, I've got protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval here. And I also have transformation. Okay, things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. This could be, for a lot of you, I feel like this is both you and your person. Okay? So, you know, if you're in a relationship right now and you're going through this period of deep transformation, right? That's a lot to do and be around another person. Okay? Um, you know, I'm also hearing, like, you know, have... You need time for yourself. And we always do that. We need, to, again, we need to be two whole people coming together, right? Willow. This is going to happen. Okay, this is going to happen. If you're separated, um, you will have a chance to come back together with this person. They are not ready now, or maybe you are not ready now, but this will happen. If you are waiting for your person, this is a sign that this will happen. Eight plus three is 11. Um, it's very possible that someone could have met this person already this past year. Okay. I'm going to ask. Give me one second. Um, I'm also getting that. If you're with somebody right now, something monumental could be happening in the, the month of November or happened in the month of November. Like it could have been a proposal. It could have been, um, you guys could have moved in together. If not, it's going to be this coming November. There's a lot of sexual energy here. Okay. And you need to remember 
to keep that ancient wisdom, keep your wits about you because I had grounding come up in the reverse. That sexual energy is going to knock you off balance. We have this is grounding coming up the second time in this reading. So it's really important here. Okay? All right, I am going to um, grab another deck here and we're going to ask about your person. This is specifically for Pisces. Okay, I've got a Knight of Pentacles and I have a Five of Pentacles. Your person is kind of concentrating on their money right now. Okay. Um, they're, they're really, yeah, they've gone through, it could have been like something where they lost some investments or they're trying to grow something here and they're kind of at the beginning stages. They are going to reach out for you. They will probably be taking action towards you. I feel like they are going to promote themselves as a king of pentacles here looking forward but they're actually kind of really the energy i'm getting from them is this page of wands here okay for some of them i feel like they may still be involved with someone else or they have recently left that and recent can be a year so you know um i just don't feel like they're ready they're they're healing here they are afraid of losing you. I do know that. They're trying to balance all this out so that they can come and offer you something. They feel like they don't have enough to offer you yet. Yeah, they're going through, they're going through like an ego death here. Okay. And they're just, they're just not quite ready to start. They're not quite ready to to commit fully there's too much going on there's too much going on around them um and i really feel like they're trying to they've kind of leveled up spiritually emotionally and they're trying to balance that out okay they're really trying to balance that out i've got this hierophant coming up yeah, there was some kind of tower where they gained a lot of clarity. They had something happen in their life and they gained, it gave them clarity here. And they just, they're not at the point of saying, okay, I'm done with this yet. They're not at the point of seeing that they're, they're stuck in this. And a lot of it has to do with their finances. They're trying to build up their finances. Okay, so just know that they're not ready yet. Let's get a general read on, for those of you I really felt like there might be a few of you that had more than one person that was coming in here. Okay. Let's ask about that. Wow. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I do feel like some of you are going to have the opportunity. Um, there's going to be, there are, there are, you're going to have options, okay? There's going to be more than one person here. It's going to be your choice to either repeat a cycle or move on here. I'm getting, uh, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. And I've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens here. Okay. When you see this devil card comes out, this is the card that says, okay. Right? Like, do I want to repeat this cycle? Am I going to be the same in my next relationship as I was in my last relationship? Because honestly, really, only the only thing that you can control is yourself here, right? Your actions, right? Your inaction, your reactions. That's all you can own. And you're being called out here to pay attention. 
because I do see um, you have the opportunity here for for um, something really beautiful. Okay, we've got the justice card or the excuse me the judgment card, and we've got this ace of swords in reverse. Um, I do feel like whatever it is, when this starts happening, it's going to kind of throw you for a loop. I mentioned that before. We had that moon come up in the reverse twice. Like, I feel like you're going to meet this person or you're going to come back together. You're going to meet a person, an energy that is going to make you feel ways that you haven't felt in a very long time. And um, it's going to make you feel like you're losing ground here, losing clarity. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I think for some of you, you've either been through something. Um, someone either had like codependent things or there could have been addictions. Um, you know, this was a past relationship. This could have even been with a family, like a parent. And I'm not saying a romantic relationship. I'm saying that your relationship with your parents and how they treated you, you know, something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, as well as a past relationship, possibly, that is going to make you not trust what's happening, okay? It will balance out, right? It's, it's about putting on your little thinking cap and pulling in the discernment because I do have wish fulfillment here, okay? Yeah, it's, it's the overflow of love that's going to heal but it's also going to trigger you. Notice we have this going into an 11, 10 and 1. It's just going to be triggering. That's interesting. Can we get some more definition here? Mm -hmm. What more do you want to know, guys? Okay, balancing out. It's all going to balance out. You've got a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you're concerned. Um, some of you are concerned that it's kind of like it's all great when everything's good, but what happens when it, when it all, you know, things happen in life. Like what happens when there's bad times too? Like everybody's nice when they're happy. So I'm also being called to tell you that you, you know, take your time here. It takes a, it takes a while to get to know somebody. I think if you've been with somebody for like a year or two years, you know, you've gone to a funeral with them. You have uh, gone to like a celebration. You've met their friends. You've got to hang out. Some of the facade stuff starts to go away, right? So take your time before you make that big commitment. Anyway, um, I hope this has been helpful to you, Pisces. Please take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.